When I see yardages like this, <laughs> 209, 229 and 151, it's screaming long iron slash hybrids. Okay, I'm gonna look at long irons today and you've seen the title. Make these little simple basic changes and you'll strike your iron so much better. And you'll also start taking a divot in the correct place with your long irons. Honestly, you won't believe how simple this is. So we're at the 16th here at Motcham Hall. It's a par three and it is a brute. So I just wanna remind you that this channel is powered by you, the viewer. And I've seen a lot of comments around long irons and how do we strike them? I'm still contemplating why I'm using these butter knives. Um, Anyway, get down in those comments. Like, how often are you using your long irons? Is it a club that makes or breaks your round? I'd love to know because we're here to help out and this will honestly really help you. So 30 seconds here, stick with this and make sure you stick around to the end because you won't believe how three simple things change ball flight. Most people that I see the long iron, we see there's not a lot of loft. And as you look down the club, you're correct. There's not a lot of loft on like your four irons or five irons. We tend then to get our hands behind and sometimes get our weight behind it because we feel when it's teed up on a par three that this is our best route of getting that ball up in the air. But actually, yeah, of course, sometimes you might hit a good shot, but actually you're more likely to catch it fat or thin. So look, on the screen right now, this is the setup. You might just want to pause it. This is the setup you want to avoid. Now, I'll, I'll keep a screenshot of this for you and we'll place it on there later so then you can see what differences we're going to make. Right, I'm going to try and hit this one away and show you what you might see. Hi. Short. First thing in our list is ball position. It's basic, you've got to get it right, but it makes a real difference. I want you to have it sort of halfway between your armpit, okay, and the zip or the buttons on your shirt. So it should sort of fall around about here, okay? Another reference point you might want to use is a club head and a half inside your left heel. So it might, for a lot of you, feel quite a long way forward to what you're used to, but that's good. So that's the first thing. The next thing is weight and this position at address. Now you'll notice on this first one, I was sort of hanging back and most people think that's our way of getting up in the air. And yeah, okay, logically our brain says that, but actually us striking down, creating more spin, gives us the lift. So weight 50-50 at that address, okay? Don't phase that backside. I then want you to use this reference point, and this is where I think it's gonna make a real change to you, is those hands slightly ahead of that golf ball. Now, it's really important that I use this reference point and really play close attention to this close-up. Knuckles on the front edge of our golf ball. So as you're looking down from your perspective, you can see how I've just sort of slightly pushed those hands ahead. Now, look how much more aggressive this setup looks on the screen compared to the setup we had earlier. Totally different and something that looks a little bit more downwards and more, I guess, dynamic. Something that looks a little bit sort of on that backside and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Final thing I want you to think about to help you strike down on this iron and help you make a divot, can I feel an impact I've got a little bit more weight on my left side than I had my right. So make some practice swings, feeling this, getting that weight through that golf ball, and it's gonna make the world of difference. Just having that better setup is gonna help you do that anyway. Let's get this one away. Such a good strike. Ball, then turf, exactly what we're after. Let me know how these changes help your game. I'm here to help you this summer, so don't forget to put your comments down below. Thanks for watching.